All right, so quick video on this uh, four inch folding uh, quad that I showed up my Instagram a while back. I haven't had a opportunity to talk about this. I've been really busy with my other reviews, um, but I'm not really sure if I'm gonna be doing much more with this project here because this is not something you can just buy off the shelf. It's got a lot of, um, well, it's gonna require some explanation. So let me talk about that. Okay, so this is an old frame that I've had around for a while and I actually did a conversion for some old e Sheen quad and uh, made this into like a 2S 4 inch and it's a 4 inch frame. Um, this does come, I think I got it from Banggood originally, but this is available on AliExpress. I'll link uh, that down in the video description if you want to pick up this frame, but basically it's a 4 inch Dead Cat style frame. I'll unfold it here in a second. Or, yeah, I'll unfold it here in a second. And um, uh, I converted it uh, a while back, and then I reconverted it a second time to DJI O3. So you can see it's got the O3 camera on here. Got GPS for um, return to home, and you can see I got this nice little, uh, very compact package here. Doesn't weigh hardly anything. Hardly takes up any space. You can stick this in your backpack like this. Right, so you can wrap a towel around it. It's just a few things here that I did um, um, make this sort of uh, you know my own sort of build here. So first off, let's go ahead and unfold it. And uh, yeah, the arms just slot into here like so. There's a screw right there that that this little thing slots into. You can barely see that right there. And you have to be, I have these uh, little spacers here that I need to get, me push those out of the way. And then uh, once the arm is in place, you have to move these little spacers in between and this basically prevents the arm, or, or, or should help prevent the arm from collapsing back. Uh, in a crash is what they that's what, that's what those are intended for this is not does not come in the frame these are just special parts that I made for this build there you're not going to find them anywhere um, and uh, if you're really interested in doing this build leave me some comments um, if there's enough interest I might do a follow video but I mainly am just I, I'm not really sure how much interest there is in something like this because it's not something you can buy and it's pretty hard to build but yeah I, well, I had a lot of questions about it so Go ahead and put and make a video about this. So that that's what this little thing ports here for, so that it will prevent the arm from collapsing back. And then you're supposed to tighten down the screws here, so that the arm is more secure. So it's unfolded there, and then we'll unfold the same thing on the back arms, like this. And then you have to screw down these screws to tighten it down. That'll keep the arms in place. And you do have to be quite careful on how you install the flight controller. This frame does not have mounting holes for the whoop style flight controllers. It's the 25 millimeter ones. So I made this little adapter for that. I did that in a previous video and then I use a different board here. This is that hack RC board and I had to reorient it so that the USB port comes out this way. Um, so again, very complicated build. I'm using the gem fan four inch folding props of course to so then when it folds down it's nice and small and then i have this special part here that i made for the uh, o3 antenna so that'll collapse down and it'll just the, the battery strap holds it in place and then you just have to pull it out like so and it, it can bend back it's very flexible so that can be a good thing or a bad thing but it kind of sits up kind of nice i think uh, uh you can sort of arrange this a little bit here and then it is it's been kind of collapsed down for a while now so it's going to require a little bit of finagling to get it to kind of sit straight up like that and then i use a 1100 milliamp hour forest battery on this and i get like um 10 minutes of flight time on this on the four inch prop um which is pretty efficient uh the this is also another part that I made specifically is just to hold the O3 camera. I'm still working on this because it's, there's still a little bit of jello. This is this is the challenge with O3 uh, is the mounting and I'm not 100% sure what I need to change to um, get the jello completely gone but um, yeah it's something that I have to spend more time on and it's one of the reasons why I didn't make a video because I was going to work on it some more and then make a video but I'm like well I don't know when I'm going to have more time to work on this because I got just so many other projects going on and this is um, 
you know, probably something that's going to sit on the shelf for a little while and I might revisit it later. But that's essentially it. I'll link the part to the, I'll link the, um, uh, to the frame down in the video description if you want to check it out in the previous video I made. But yeah, I think also, yeah, the motors are in here are, what are these? 1603s, 2800 KV. These are from Recon FPV. So these are also kind of hard to find. Probably the, the T motor 1604s would be fine as well. And then, you know, for those of you who are wondering how much it weighs, um, it's well under 250 grams. So it's 154.6 grams without the uh, forest battery. I believe with the forest battery, the 1100, it was uh, just under 250. It was like 239, 240, somewhere around there, if I remember right. So yes, yeah, this is well under uh, 250 grams, if you're wondering. Anyway, this is just a little quick video on my four inch custom uh, build here. If you're interested in this, uh, let me know in the comments below. I, I can, you know, if you're interested in a follow up video, leave me, leave me your questions. And if there's enough questions and interest, I'll make a follow up video at some point in the future if I can get uh, the more work done on this uh, mount here for the O3 camera. But yeah, for now, it's going to sit on the shelf. Uh, I might come back to it a little bit later. And yeah, that'll do it for now. Talk to you guys in the next one.